Hello everyone. Um, today we're going to start on our second tutorial on uh, making 3D design. So today our goal is to create um, a ball joint. So we're going to start by again setting up our ruler. So a ball joint uh, is composed of two parts. One part is a socket that um, holds a ball inside and the ball is um, able to rotate in all directions inside the socket. And so that's our goal. So um, to start, we're going to start with a sphere. And um, I'm just going to keep it a two centimeter diameter sphere to start with. So we're, we'll start with the, the socket part. And um, so for the socket, um, we are going to uh, take part of the top off. And um, so first of all, we're going to raise this space. Uh, so it is from the bottom there. Let's see. Um, so this ball here is Ten, uh, it's 20 centimeter in height. So I'm going to cut the, the top 5 millimeter off. So I'm going to set this height to 15 and move this so that it's directly um, over the sphere. And I'm going to group these two together and you will see that I have basically cut the top of the sphere off. Now I'm going to carve the middle um, and I'm going to leave the socket um, as a two millimeter thick wall. Uh, to do that I will have to create another sphere and so this time the sphere is going to be a hole and it will have a dimension of 16 and 16 and 16 in all directions. And I'm going to raise this up by two millimeter from the bottom because that's how thick um, our, our wall is going to be. Now I'm going to impose this over to, the, to, the, uh, to my solid ball. Uh, again, it's two, mi two millimeter from uh, each side. And so now this whole sphere has uh, been centered to the middle and I'm going to group those two together and there we have our uh, socket and so for the uh, so this is the socket part of the uh, of the ball ball joint and so we're going to create the ball inside of it and so the ball inside of it has to be smaller than the space and so I'm going to give it a, uh, a really tight fit uh, with about one, uh, one millimeter uh, space. So, um, I mean, sorry, uh, a half a millimeter space. So the inside uh, hole has a diameter of 16 millimeters. So I'm going to make a ball that is 15 millimeter in all directions. And um, and then I'm going to raise this up by uh, two and a half millimeter. And I'm going to have it centered. And again, uh, I will need to have two and a half uh, millimeter on each direction, uh, in all directions. And so now you can see that this ball is now centered uh, within this socket here. And so um, if I add a little uh, cylinder and uh, make it uh, a little rod that comes out of it, um, just going to say 4 and 4, and I'll keep it at 20. And uh, yeah, to, to, to distinguish between the ball and the socket, I'm going to also change the color here 
to uh, orange color. And so I'm going to uh, erase this uh, just slightly. And I'm going to move it so that it's centered. Now, um, here it's, um, it's a lot uh, easier to use these distance from the center to measure how far apart um, you are and to see whether you're going to have it centered. So in this case, um, eight millimeter from each, from the origin on both the X and the Y direction will allow this uh, rod here to be centered onto the ball inside. And so if we uh, join those two shapes together and group, and we have the ball inside. So you can see that we have created this uh, ball joint. Um, so this ball joint will allow uh, whatever is attached to this rod to move freely in all direction um, on the top. Now, um, in a real application, sometimes it's useful to have the socket actually uh, to, to print these two things separately. And uh, in order to fit the socket into the ball, uh, sorry, in order to fit the ball into the socket afterwards, um, it would be a lot easier if we actually um, cut off part of this socket on the side so that the other two side that's printed is slightly flexible uh, with the material. And so to do that, um, we can uh, just shave off some of this uh, socket part. So let me show you how to do that part. And uh, that is going to be a just a simple cutaway uh, with a uh, with a rectangle. And so I'm going to cut um, about five centimeters sorry, five millimeters uh, off uh, each side. And uh, another one, and uh, it would be uh, five millimeter from the other side. And so we can group these three objects together and to create something like this. And so um, once you have this, then once you print it, um, it would be easier to, uh, to insert, to print these two things separately. And then after you print them, to uh, insert the ball joint, uh, the ball into the joint. Um, you can even shave it uh, a little bit further from the top to make it uh, a little bit easier to be inserted. Um, so the idea is that as long as you have part of the socket uh, being bigger than the ball, the ball will sit inside the socket freely. So, um, so then in this case now you can print these two parts separately. And once you print it, you can just fit uh, this one uh, in between uh, the in between the the socket. You can actually insert it, and so it will look something like this. Okay. So hopefully this um, is a uh, this will help you uh, to create a ball joint of your own. Okay, so let's rename this project as uh, ball joint. And uh, yes, so thank you for watching and uh, uh, see you at, uh, in our next tutorial.